Welcome again to Professional English One. Okay, now we are going to work with compound nouns or noun phrases. Okay, this is a very important topic for professional English, as you know, and in professional English, and uh, particularly in technical uh, English, you will find lots of very complex nouns. Uh, we are going to take a look at compound nouns. For example, we have hand, and we are going to recognize them and bag. And we will have hand bag, for example. Okay, so we are going to look some of them, we are going to recognize, and we are going to study some examples. Okay. A compound noun or, a, or compound nouns are words that define people, animal, places, things, or ideas. Mainly, they have two words or one word made up from two different ones. Uh, some others will have adjectives, uh, adverbs, and so on. For example, we have a noun, moon, we have an adjective, full, and we have a compound noun, full moon. So we are using two words as a single noun. Another example is bus and stop. We have bus stop, and sometimes the, the meaning will change a bit. We have nouns that are used as head words, not only uh, nouns, but also adjectives, um, adverbs, and other words that are used as head words, or the, the, the main word, and modifiers. Okay? Most compound nouns are modified nouns by other nouns. For example, we have inkjet and printer. Okay, inkjet is uh, a device that injects ink as a, as a jet uh, in, in the work of a printer. So the modifiers inkjet and the head word or the main word or the noun is the printer. In this case, and in many cases, the first word will describe or modify the second word, the main word. Okay, they will give information about the word, and the second word is usually the identification of the item, is the definition, the main definition, that is modified by the first word. For example, we have adjectives and nouns. We have hard and we have drive. Hard it defines a solid thing, a drive is a device. We have hard drive, okay? Is, uh, as you know, is, the main comp is one of the main components of a computer, for example. We have a noun, and we have another noun, acid, an indicator. Acid is a word that describes a chemical product, an indicator, indicator is another word that describes another type of chemical region. And the compound noun is acid indicator. Okay, that is a substance that indicates the change in the acid properties of a solution or a substance. We also have compound nouns that are conferred by one word, toothpaste. Tooth is one word and paste is another. Bedroom. Bed is one word and room is another word. And Sometimes we have um, uh, words that are referred to something different. For example, broad band. Broad means uh, ample, and band is a, a kind of a, um, a ribbon. Okay. We have chairman. The chairman is the main person that. Uh, leads or directs a meeting, for example. Shut down. Shut down will have many meanings. One of them is to close something or to lack of something. An electricity shutdown means 
In Spanish, we will say apagón. Okay. Software, again, soft, it doesn't have a solid um, composition, and where is uh, uh, um, something. Software is uh, the name we give to products of uh, programs, uh, products uh, or programs uh, used in computing and in communication, etc. Wholesale. Whole means everything. Sale is uh, something you, you, you buy, you purchase. Okay, and wholesale is to um, sell everything in, uh, in, in a store or in a department store, whatever. Okay, and blow out. A blow out is something that explodes. For example, a tire. The tire has blown out, so it lost all the air inside it because of any, any, any type of um, accident or something. Um, we have closed or, or, compound, or solid, sorry, compound nouns. As we said, broadband, it's ample, an ample band. We have chairman is the, lead, the leader of a meeting. We have shut down, that is closing a something or lacking of something. Um, we have software, we have wholesale, as we said, software is the program, is any program we use in computing and communications, whatever. Wholesale is the final sale of um, a store, for example. And blowout is the, an explosion, actually. Okay, sometimes compound nouns are connected with a hyphen. Dry cleaning. Dry means without wa uh, water. And cleaning is obvious. It means to clean something. Daughter in law. Okay. Well being. Sometimes well being is written without a hyphen. But anyway, uh, both ways are correct. We have two separate words without any connection, but that will have a um, very specific meaning. Full moon, Christmas tree, swimming pool. Okay, uh, these words are well known, so I think they don't need more explanation. Uh, let's see, bus stop. Uh, let's just wait at this bus stop. It's a place where the bus stops and people uh, also uh, waits for it. I love watching fireflies on warm summer nights. A firefly. Fire is something brilliant that gives heat, warms, and a fly is an insect. A firefly is an, in uh, an insect that will produce light, okay? Uh, and they are very beautiful uh, during summer nights. Another example, while you are at the store, please pick up some toothpaste, a six pack of ginger ale and some egg rolls. Okay, toothpaste. Tooth is um, part of the body and paste is um, so substance we use to clean. Toothpaste is used to clean the, the teeth. Six pack of ginger ale. Six pack, a pack of six cans or bottles or whatever, or a, um, a set of six things. Ginger ale is a kind of a beer made of ginger. Egg rolls, okay, a set of rolls that are sell in containers, very specific containers. We have more examples. Uh, be sure to add enough detergent to the washing machine. Washing machine. A machine that uh, washes clothing or whatever. Uh, we want to stay somewhere in a swimming pool. It's a pool that is used to swim. Does she really want to photograph the moon eclipse tonight? The eclipse is when the, the shadow of the earth uh, covers the moon. Okay? How much bleach do I need to add 
to the washing machine. Washing machine, again, we have and bleach is a substance that helps to, um, be, uh, to make white clothing ag uh, again white. Okay. Um, a lifeguard, she's a lifeguard and always stays near the swimming pool just in case. Okay, a lifeguard is a person that is nearby a swimming pool and helps people when they have trouble swimming or where when they are uh, sinking, okay, and also on beaches. Okay, we have a noun and a verb. He always gets up before sunrise. Sunrise. The moment when the sun rises from the horizon. Okay, it's um, at dawn, very early in the morning. Okay. Uh, verb and preposition. Sorry, uh, we forgot the, the first one. I really could use an updated hairstyle. We have two compound nouns. Updated. That is up to date, up to the moment. Her style, a uh, uh, very um, particular style of combing or uh, using hair with color or, I don't know, uh, forms, cuttings, uh, as we have seen lately. Uh, a verb and a preposition. Check out. Check out. Check means to register, for example, and out is outside. It means that uh, it's not in. Check out is a word that describes the moment than when people will uh, go from some place. Uh, please remember to schedule your dog's annual checkup. Okay, checkup in this case is a revision. Okay, a revision that is for uh, some, some reason. Okay. Noun and prepositional phrase. My mother-in-law is the kindest person I know. Mother-in-law, okay, is a relative that comes to the family because of a wedding, okay, and the engagement, okay. The mother-in-law is the mother of your wife or your husband. Okay, that's the mother-in-law. The in-laws, in plural, will mean the, uh, that uh, what in Spanish we call uh, parientes políticos. Okay. Preposition and noun. We have a preposition and a noun. Do you believe in past lives or lives? Okay, past lives. Uh, past is very um, obvious and live is also obvious. Past lives means something that happened before you are living at the moment. This city is vibrant, so it's hard to believe it has a thriving criminal underworld. Under means below, world is a well-known word, so uh, the underworld means something that is not uh, shown, uh, probably hidden. Okay, noun and adjective. We need a track full of mulch for the garden. Truck full. A truck is a vehicle that helps um, transporting things, lots of material. And full means that is completely um, occupied. So a truck full is a truck full of something, okay? Being redundant, probably. We have other forms of compound nouns. For example, a noun and a verb. Does he always get up before sunrise? We have already seen sunrise, so we don't need to explain it again. How much does a hairstyle cost in that soap? Okay, in this case, we have the noun compounds in interrogative sentences. A verb and a preposition. Before the flight, there is no checkout schedule. Okay, checkout is also something you need to go and register yourself to go in or to go out. Both ways, checkout. 
Most elderly people need an annual checkup to ensure good health. Checkup means, in this case, a revision, um, health revision in this case. Okay? Noun and prepositional phrase. We have a noun and a prepositional phrase. Her sister-in-law came without prior notice. Sister-in-law, again, is um, the sister of your wife or your husband. Most big cities have what is called underworlds. Again, again we have already explained underworld that is normally hidden. Okay, noun and adjective. She had a really big mouthful of that, of that disgusting meal. Uh, please, let me repeat. She had a really big mouthful of that disgusting meal. Okay, mouth is a part of the head, and full again describe complete. Mouthful is uh, a lot of uh, or, or what can our mouth contain. Okay, let's go through some exercises. Choose the word that makes each of these nouns into a compound noun. Okay, we have driver, seat, racer. Fun driver, fun seat, fun racer. Which goes as a compound noun and will give a, 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 a coherent word, a coherent meaning. Okay. We have fun racer. Again, number two, news. Newspaper, news story, news travel. Okay, this is a word, a word, sorry, that is well known. So newspaper is the answer. Okay? As you see, sometimes compound nouns are already in use by us, but we didn't know that they were compound nouns. In number three, sun, Sunday, sunglasses, sun heat. Since we have a compound noun, Sunday is not the case. Sunglasses, sun heat. Okay, we know sunglasses that uh, are those type of glasses that we use when there is a lot of sun. Child, childhood, children. Child play? Okay. In this case, the answer is ch childhood. That means the, uh, the, the years when we are a child, or when a person is a child. Door. Door frame, door handle, doorway. Frame. What is frame? Frame is something that circles or encircles something. Handle is uh, a device we use to open, close, or um, manas. It's also a verb. And way is a path. Okay? The answer is, in this case, door handed is the, the part of the door we use to open, close, and secure it. Okay? Uh, we also have door frame, but with a, hy with a hyphen, and uh, not normally doorway, but door handle is more common. Prevent a heart by eating properly and getting enough exercise. Heart stroke, heart attack, heart murmur. Okay, in this case it's very common to try to use Spanish to answer this, uh, translating from Spanish. The answer is heart attack. Also heart, her, sorry, uh, heart attack. Heart stroke is also a possible answer, okay? Do you prefer peppermint or cinnamon flavored cookies, toothpaste, applesauce? Cookies, toothpaste, applesauce. So the answer is toothpaste. The full blank. Look at the normals as it rose over the horizon. 
the full moon, the full sun, the full sunset. Okay, we know this word, so we choose A. I am going to the barber for a trim, for a new style, for a haircut. Okay, trim is to cut something. A uh, new style is uh, also, but uh, in a barber you have a haircut normally. A uh, new style is also a, f uh, a very particular way of having your hair or um, organizing what you are using on your hair. They are digging a new swimming. This, in this case, this exercise is very easy. A new swimming pool. Okay. Again, we have some uh, more exercises. I would love to learn to pilot, and to pilot is very um, specific. Pilot is used for flying devices. So we pilot airplanes, no boats, no nor uh, submarines. One reason donuts are fattening is they is that they are fried in cooking oil. Cooking sugar, pans, okay? So in this case, the answer is oil. Sherry is upset because she lost an input. Doesn't make sense, it's not coherent. Earring is um, a piece of jewelry that normally is used in the ears. And friendship. Okay, uh, lost a friendship, a ah, friendship in any case. So the answer is earring. Okay, in this case, we need to notice also the ang doesn't go with friendship. So the uh, obvious answer is B. In number 14, we put a, we have a blank space in the garden to chase birds away. Runway, sunshade, scarecrow. Do you know the meaning of runway? Do you know the meaning of runway? It's a place uh, that uh, might be used to escape. Sunshade is a place that is uh, uh, covered from the sun, from the sun, sorry. And scarecrow is an imus, is kind of a statue. It's a doll that is put on um, crop fields to um, uh, make birds escape. So, scarecrow is actually meaning uh, to scare crows. A crow is a bird, a black bird, a noisy one that uh, normally eats crops. I have got to pick a package at the post, postman, post office book. Postman is a person, so you cannot pick up a package from a person. We can pick up a package from an office, a post office. Post book also doesn't have sense. So our obvious answer is B. Thank you.